Billy here, Fix It For Fun. Nissan Titan cab removal tips and tricks to get the engine in and out. Um, man, if you guys are used to taking off cabs, this one pops right off. It's got a funky brake line in the back. But uh, you can remove everything on the firewall and get the cab up. No big deal. Um, the master cylinder and the fuel lines, everything just lay over. You know, like I said, uh, it, this thing pulls off just like a Dodge cab or a uh, Ford cab. I don't know if you, you guys know about pulling Chevrolet cabs, but those are a real pain. And this one uh, comes off a whole lot easier than that. So, and then for this 5.6 liter to get it in and out, I hook a chain on the knock sensor uh, holes right here, you know, on both sides of the valley. And that'll help get the motor in and out pretty even. And uh, yeah, not such a big deal. This thing calls for like 25 hours to pull out the front of the truck. So I decided I was going to skip that says to pull the intake manifold, the exhaust manifolds, and you have to take the transmission out before you can ever uh, pull the motor out of the front. You know, after you remove the radiator and all that stuff, which uh, radiator just slides up with the cab. So not a big deal on that. And everything really just unplugs really easily. Like I said, kind of like a, a, a Ford cab or a Dodge cab, you know, park and brake. Uh, back here kind of set up like an import car, but it just came right off everything unbolts and there's a safety loop around the drive shaft that goes from that to the body and uh, You cannot get the cab off without removing that, you know, ask me how I know so But anyways, yeah a couple tips and tricks for putting this 5.6 liter motor in uh, Nissan Titan if you guys are doing it through the front. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't have any experience for that, but uh, thank you guys for watching